Here we have green beans being grown on plastic. This is a clear plastic, as you can see. Uh, the clear plastic lets them grow faster and uh, seems to give them more vigor. We've seen as much as 700 bushels to the acre using clear plastic on green beans. Here's a picture of peas growing on clear plastic. See the size of that plant. Now this is a uh, peas planted at the same time grown on bare ground, which is about half the size. This is sweet corn being grown on plastic. Uh, as you notice the size of the uh, sweet corn there on bare ground where the plastic had run out compared to the sweet corn that is on plastic. are checking for the depth of seeds. The easiest way to check this is between the press wheel and the seeding beaks. This is before the seed becomes covered. Depth can be adjusted of either two ways. One by using the peg system on the press wheel and the other is by adjusting the top link, which we will be showing here in just a second. The seed unit on this is a vacuum type seed unit run by the vacuum fan. This is a PTO type fan, which gives us a very good quantity of vacuum, especially needed for large seeds. Now one of the options we have with this seed unit is we can drop a seed or two seeds every hole or even three seeds every hole. Or we can drop one seed every other hole if we want to just by changing the seed plate. The seed plate will plant crops from pepper seeds all the way up to lima beans. Here we are singulating muskmelon seeds. We are dropping one seed per hole. Now what we have done here with this seed plate is we've taken a piece of scotch tape and taped off every other hole. If we were planting cucumbers, we would be dropping two seeds per hole. The drive wheels or land wheels can be adjusted for different types of raised beds up to 11 inches. Once they are adjusted for your size raised bed, they should not have to be adjusted again unless you change the height of your raised bed. The unit floats very well on your raised beds.